Okay, good evening, people. Today, me and Lex wearing the same short. Oh yeah. my lord. One plan, I one plan because he used my coat for my protein. Yeah. Okay, but well, anyways, we're heading over to Tato Tat Night Market. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to go on a Saturday. Yeah. I heard a lot of reviews about the place. Mainly, it's not that good. There's flood, short circuit. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna hit there to grandstand. And I'll talk to you guys then. Randomly park somewhere. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, we're here at the night market. We found an entrance. The crowd here is a lot crazier, a lot more chaotic, 10 times more chaotic than what I expect it to be. So we're gonna head in. I don't think it's gonna be that big. We're gonna head in, we see what we can get. Let's go. It's not really that organizer. The exit and entrance, right, is like the same one. So this night market, right? Okay, this chatu chat is really like the the other chatu chat, the one in Thailand, because there is really it's not just food lah. It's like there's a lot of stalls selling like bags, accessories, art and craft stuff. Yeah, you can even come here and take Polaroid photos. Oh, there's even food massage here, eh, Alex. We should come on a weekday Monday afternoon rather than on a Saturday afternoon. A Saturday Saturday evening. Oh my god. Probably get a prawn. The prawn meal. Email. Eh, hey, well, let's go. Well, let's go. Well, let's go. Well, squid it. We're gonna order something first, and then come back and take because the queue, right? No, no, not the queue. He ran out of stuff already. Okay, how's my meal queue up? Fun and cheese. Oh, which one no queue? Please, please, please. We got, we got pranks. Yeah, two thousand fun can. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, okay, we finally we finally got the first item to eat today, okay? This is a stew pork leg. Okay, let's go. Mmm, wow. That's actually really good. It's like a little sweet, very fragrant. I thought it lacks a bit of. Really? You know what? I think it's because you're you're so spoiled with Singaporean food. I think it's not too bad, but uh It could be better. It could be better. It's like not salty enough. I find it a bit too sweet for my liking. But okay. overall, I would say it's okay though. The tenderness of the meat is just nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is true. And then uh, this one, right, despite its pork leg, right, it doesn't have like uh, a whole bunch of fat. You know, this one, is, it's got actually got a good amount of meat as well. Okay, but I would prefer it to have more garnishes, like the pickled vegetables, oh, yeah. the raw garlic, yeah, cilantro, yeah, all that true. kind of stuff, yeah. Uh, I think we get the, which one, which one you recommend? Oh, okay, then we try that one. Okay. So, that? so this is some sort of dry noodle, dry kuei tiao. According to her, she said kuei tiao, okay? So they're still frying everything. There's an egg in there, there's chicken. They added uh, some of the squid as well. It looks and smells a bit like a typical... Okay. So Tara is here. She's a Thai, like pure 100% Thai that's working in Singapore. I'm pretty sure she, she's a lot more familiar with the food here yeah. as compared to me. So I'm just gonna let her sort of be our little guide and explain to me what are the different food items and also Thai names of each and every dish. What is this called? Khoai tot. Khoai tot. Khoai tot. Khoai tot. So what, yeah. what is Khoai tot actually? It's like omelette but they put like Seafood. Okay, so it's a yeah. seafood omelette. Yeah. Is it something similar to our oyster omelette? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, similar. Yeah, similar. Yeah. But this one add in bean sprout. So the very interesting thing here is you don't <laughs> you don't pay at the counter. So there's a there's a cashier nearby and then you will pay near the cashier and then you queue and take your food. I'm not sure if this is the best structure, but we'll see. I have no idea what's this. Sean just got this one. You, do you have any idea what is this? No, I don't know. I never eat before. You cannot be now. Cow ho bai bua. Okay, so what, what does it mean? Cow ho bai bua is it mean like this like lotus? Oh, 
Cow Hua Cow Hua is lotus leaf. Yeah, lotus leaf. Wow. So this one like is similar to like. Oh, similar to like some sort of fried rice. Yeah. Wow. I see brown rice in there. Then there is. It, it smells and looks very similar to our lotus. Uh, no, what do you call it? The hei yi fan. Yes. It smells like, and then there's a salted egg as well. Okay, let me take a bite first. Uh. We take a one spoon. Okay, there is peanuts. There's ginkgo nuts. Yeah. There is a uh, salted egg yolk in the middle. There is sausages. Like, I don't know, like some sort of Chinese sausage. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna try and get everything in one bite. Oh, I actually like the sausage. It's kind of sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. They can't be fried. I think I try to stir first because here got like prawn. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't mix it up properly. Got a big, big bite. Big, big bite. Let's go. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I actually like it with the sausage. You eat it with the sausage, it's mm. quite good. Now I'm gonna try eating it with the salted egg yolk. Is it gonna be very salty? No, it will stick in your teeth. Stick to my teeth? Yeah. <laughs> it's right. It's like mochi. Really? I have no I idea what is this. Oh my god. No. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is date. This is date. Yeah. Like and date. Yeah. Most of the components are a little bit spicy. Oh, <laughs> I always watch your videos. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Now she'll be on the video. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we are almost done with this. Let's move on to the next stall. Hey, this entire thing, uh, you have to eat it, you have to mix everything together. The, the dry shrimps are a little bit spicy. Um, the sausage is a little bit spicy, but this is my favorite component in this dish. Because it's spicy and at the same time it's a little bit sweet. Okay, this next dish. Apparently you told me it's a fried squid egg or something. Is this something common in Thai? Yeah? Yes. What is it called in Thai? Kai Pamut. <laughs> okay. But okay, so, so you usually eat this with the nam ching. Nam ching yeah. is sauce, right? Yes. Okay. You are right. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay, it does taste very eggy. The sauce is so good. Yeah. Spicy, garlicky. Oh, it's very spicy. Yeah, though. I think it'll be spicy. Okay, but this is good. Does it taste a fish egg? No. no. Oh, it's intense to film here. Okay, what is, what is the meaning of kuokai? Kuokai is mean like just a noodle and like stir fry with chicken. Noodle stir fry with chicken. Okay, yeah. so kuo is chicken. Oh no, kai is chicken. Oh, kai is chicken. Yeah, kai is chicken. Kai is chicken. Yeah. Okay. Okay, come, you try it, then you tell me whether this is a good kuo kai or not. Oh, wait, oh. very hot, very hot, very hot. It's good? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Quite like, flavorful. Like. Quite flavorful. Yeah. She said I must add this one. Chili sauce. Yeah. Then you mix it up. I think, like, not even like food sauce. The taste also nice. Don't put sauce, the taste is also good. Okay, let's go. <laughs> She's right, I like the flavor a lot. A bit sweet, yeah. savory, not too oily. It's not mm. oily at all. It does remind me a bit of Ping Ning Chai Kuei Tiao. But it's definitely a bit sweeter. On the sweeter side, a bit lighter. Okay, this is something that I would eat. We add a bit of vinegar, a bit of chili in there, and we see how this tastes. I can take spice now, so spice lot already. <laughs> It doesn't make that much of a difference then. Eh? You try. I think if not put nicer. Put nicer? No, not put nicer. Oh, we not put nicer. Yeah. Okay. This is... Okay, what, what is it again? Koi tot. Koi tot. Yeah. Did koi I pronounce tot. it right? Yes. Koi tot. Okay, this is koi tot. It's some sort of seafood omelette yes. pancake thing. Looks something similar to our typical oyster omelette. But, okay, but they added vegetables. They added like bean sprouts in there. Yes. Okay, so some people might not like it because I have a good amount of friends that hate bean sprouts. We actually got this serving for free eh, because of her. She used her Thai speaking skills to sort of like chat the lady up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, what is that? That is... The uh, creme. Oh, okay. This is shrimp. Okay, let's go. The creme really like creamy. Very good. Wait, wait, wait. I need another bite. This one, creme. I really like the pancake. It's got a very nice... Okay, I actually prefer this more than the Korean seafood pancake. This yeah. is... Oh. The umami in, in there is really strong. Yeah. Like, very nice seafood flavor. Yeah. And that, that bean sprout is not fully cooked through. So it gives it a very nice crunch. 
This looks very sweet though, this sauce. Yes. Mm. Okay, I like the sauce. Yeah. But a little bit sweet, huh? I think the pancake with the sauce is going to be super nice. Okay, the pancake on its own might be a bit too bland for some people. So with the sauce, I think it's just nice. Yeah. Okay, this is the best thing I've tried by far. <laughs> hey, she can eat a lot. Huh? She's not the kind of guest that come onto the channel right, and then take two bites and then throw. Huh? She finished oh every single dish. Look at, look at what she's so doing. So big. Holy smokes. Oh. Mm. Which is really a foodie. I found the right person to come onto the channel for this. For this uh this chat to chat experience. Mm. Dows a bit of the sauce into the yeah. into the bean spot. Okay, they're making a dessert called Lok Chong. Okay. I hope I pronounce it right, Lok Chong. Yeah, right, yeah, right. right. What exactly is it? It's like Thai Shin dessert. Thai dessert. Yeah. Like with like shaved eyes and everything. So is that avocado? No, it's called like uh, we call Tang Hai. Tang Hai. Yeah. It's like melon, it? but Thai melon. Thai melon. Okay. Yeah, the smell very good. It looks like yeah. avocado. You look, like show them, it looks exactly oh. avocado. Oh, yeah. So that's how we serve it. It's like a slushy. So we need to stir first. It looks a bit like chingdo. This one looks like brown sugar loba or something. Oh, the texture is a bit soft. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's mm. like spaghetti. Look. It's, like it's got a very distinct taste, which I am not exactly sure where it comes from. Maybe it's the melon that she's talking about. It does have a melon of the taste. I mean, if you have something super spicy and you want something to cool it down, this is the thing to go. Yeah, because it's very coconutty. It's very rich. Oh no, wait. Your selfie? Okay. Yeah, no. I take. You take, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, This one, uh, just not the kid. The kid from the, I think it's one of the organ, not organizer, it's one of the guy that works here at Chattu Chat. He was telling me that this one is a must try. This, this pet pie, okay, pet pie. The queue, ah, uh, is all the way until the other side. Okay, it's super long. The queue is super long. So, yeah, show the queue. Show the queue. Thank you, thank you. Wanna get some whooping? Okay. We went over, the guy said it's sold out. Okay, but then there was this, I'm not sure if they are viewers of the channel or what, but they're very kind. They actually they actually give it to us. Okay, okay. Thank you, brother. What's your name? Jeff. My name is Jeff. So this store got very little queue. I'm still very hungry, so we need to. We wanna get some fried bananas. Looks very different from the Singapore ones though. How, how do I say fried banana in Thai? Wait hot. Wait, wait hot. Is it, isn't it similar to just now? No. How do you pronounce that? Shiro, surreal Thai. Surreal, surreal Thai. Surreal the surreal name thai. of the shop. There is boy chicken, which is something similar to our typical white Hainanese chicken, and there's the fried one. So I got both. Okay, I got a plate of both, which is half fried, half boiled. I don't remember eating chicken rice from Thailand. What's the main difference? Chicken rice from Thailand and chicken chili. Rice, the chili. Yeah. So we're gonna wait for it and then we see how this tastes. <laughs> this is actually the fried banana. Looks very different from the Singapore one. The shape is very uneven. It looks like tempura fish to me. Okay, while we are queuing for the chicken rice, we're just gonna eat this while we're queuing up. It's hot. <laughs> it tastes very different from the Singapore one. The exterior tastes a bit caramelized. You wanna try banana? Yes, I want to try. It's very hot. hot. The whole thing is yours. Thank you. I like how they're able to taste it. This one, right, the inside, it tastes like cream already. Mm. You know the our local ones, right? Mm. You can taste the texture of the bananas inside. This one is so right that when you bite in, right, all you taste is the dough, and inside it's like cream, it's like custard already. Hey, not bad, not bad. I wasn't yeah. expecting this to be that good. Yeah, it's probably ball, it's probably ball. Yeah, it's expensive. It's expensive. It's alright. It's all good. It's like mochi. You have a bun. No. You have a bun. Huh? Oh my gosh, she's actually touching it. Eat it. Oh, princess. Oh, you dress up like a princess coming to a night market. Okay, you guys have some fries. Huh? 
this one. Rainbow fries. Thank you. You're welcome, you're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> it's a lot easier when she's here. Because she can directly speak their language and communicate a lot quicker. Because a lot of the okay, uh, maybe like a good amount of vendors here, they are Thai. What do you call this in Thai? Kao man gai. Kao man gai. Kao man gai. Kao man gai. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, right. so she was telling me right the main difference between the uh, the Thai version and the Singapore version is the chili. So I really need to try the chili. Okay. I'm gonna try it without anything first. I'm just gonna. Rice tastes like ordinary white rice. It doesn't have much. It just have a very gingery flavor. That's all. It oh. looks like a fermented bean sauce. Though. Yes, you're yeah. right. Fermented. Oh my, it's so good though the chili. The chili makes this dish complete. Without the chili, this is like ordinary chicken and white rice. At least everything is hot. Though. Oh no, no, the chili is good. Aroy. Yeah, Aroy. Hey, they, they make everything look damn good. Eh? I want to try. Wow. Big bars. Actually, I prefer the boiled one. Yeah. With the with Same. the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bother the fried one. Just go for the five dollars boy version. I agree. Okay. Let's move on to the next sauce. This one looks really spicy. This one, the queue is insane. A one hour wait. Oh yeah. About there. About an hour wait. Okay. So it's the pack from Pao which is the basil pork stir fry. This one they added an omelette, la, which you don't usually see. Oh my god, man! <laughs> Very smoky. Okay, try. let me try I only know this one because I did a spicy challenge. Oh, yeah, with, with this? Yeah. It's for me a bit salty. Well, my first expression is dry. That meat just kind of went back to my throat, but... It's okay, the flavor is good. Yeah. It's just a little bit dry. I, I, I agree, uh, like, I think the flavor is good, it's smoky, yeah. uh, the spice is just nice. Mm. It's just that it's a little bit dry. Okay, maybe it can be a little bit spicier. This one, right, the cure, about an hour, wah, I don't think it's that fantastic, honestly, uh, okay, honestly. I, I think it's not bad, like, it's, it's a good kapow, but I wouldn't recommend queuing anywhere more than 30 minutes for this. Uh. Thank you, you're really cool. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, like? What's mooping? Mooping is, okay, wait, wait, I, I think I can translate this. Moo is the... Uh, Cow. No, moo is, <laughs> moo is pork. Moo is pork and then uh, ping is barbecue, right? Yes. You see, oh, I got pork it. pork barbecue. I'm getting better, yeah, I, can, right? I can live in Thailand yeah. soon. <laughs> no, okay. Go student. Well, this is not bad. If you got like sticky rice, it will be very good. Oh, yeah. if you eat it with sticky rice, okay. this might be one of the best things I've ever I had really good ones at shrimp prawn seafood, but this one might might be even better. Okay, next up, this one is uh, it's the same thing, oh, but it's the inside the steam bun. Okay. Very. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 it's so ooh, soft. Ooh. The bun. We're so pro. We're so pro. Okay, let's go. Okay, let me take a bite. I don't like the cucumbers. I'm okay with the cucumbers actually. The bun really soft. Yeah, the bun is very soft though. It's really nice. Oh, sticky rice! Look how pretty it is! Wow, she's so oh, excited. Oh my god, sticky rice! So wait, what's the correct way to eat this? She'll okay. teach us. Oh. What do you call this in Thailand? Uh, in Thai, how, how do you say this in Thai? Khao niao moon. Khao niao is mean Kau sticky niao. rice. Khao niao moon. Yes, khao niao moon. There you go. I think the rice is really good. But yeah, the right, mango the mango is, sour. is way too sour. There you go. Maybe it's not in season. Makcha, makcha. No, it's not. <laughs> pandan, pandan, pandan. pandan, pandan. Yeah, yeah. pandan. Usually, the mango sticky rice that I had, the mangoes are insanely sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah usually. This maybe. one is a little bit sour. I mean, maybe, maybe if you guys fancy like mangoes that is a little bit sour, you guys might like this, but not for me. They weigh and measure everything. Oh, look at that. It smells good though. It smells really good. I like the edges, so I'm gonna take the side. Whoa, the whole chili to the other. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna try it without chili. Bit. It's good. Eh? Ooh, that looks good. This is good. This is good. It's getting late. Now. I'm starting to be like on right now. I'm, I'm, I'm so tired. I'm not tired. All right, let's try it. The chili is very good. 
Yeah. Mm. Okay, I think this is not bad. Like surprisingly, this one got no Q, but it's it's very good. Well, I, I'm just I'm really enjoying this. You need you need to go. This one needs to go with beer. Oh. Like chung beer. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She hook us up with more. So again, she because she spoke to them in Thai, she praised that their food is very good. She said aroi lah. Okay, aroi means good. So we're gonna okay. This okay. the neck, right? Yeah, this is. Yeah, we try the neck. We try the neck. No shortage of protein here today. Wow, this is really really tender. This is leaner, but it's a lot more tender. Mm. It's the neck, ah, the neck. Mm. Not bad. This is quite good. Mm. Right, personally, I still prefer the pork belly because the spices sort of coat nicely, evenly on it. Okay, guys, we are almost at the end of our journey already. Then we we walk past this. I don't see this often, lah. This one, this uh, octopus. octopus. Like stew octopus, then this one with the giant head. So we're we getting this. Is this common in Thailand? Yes. How to say octopus in Thai? Pamuk. Pamuk. You know, I was expecting most of the dishes here to be very spicy, but turns out right, most of the things are. I think they they sort of like tapered it a bit to the local palate. I, I like how they straight away they didn't even ask you like they just they only have they give you two options with spice or without spice. So with spice, right, they straight away douse the whole, all that chili on it. With the, the, the head very big. Why am I so small? Oh! Wow, very good. Very good. The texture is incredible. Oh, it's right. so crunchy. Wow, but spicy. Oh! oh. Alright. Let's move on and we... Well, on the way out, we'll see what else we have. <laughs> this one, I've seen a lot of uh, articles, they got eat this one. So this is a sweet version of prata. So they added like... Uh, they added a mixture with bananas and I don't know what else inside. Like a mixture like, okay, with bananas and stuff inside. Just now this one, the queue is 30 minutes. And now I see no queue, we quickly jump into this. One banana, one egg. Try out my last stall. Okay, I'm very excited to try this. It's like a prata stuffed with bananas in there. What 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 do you how do you call this in Thai? Loti. Loti. Look at the inside. It's really stuffed with the bananas. Oh, okay. Very very good dessert this one. The bananas is so custody. Yeah, it tastes like a banana bottom. Okay, it's really good because you get the texture of the roti, which is the prata. What locals call it the prata. But the inside is super sweet and custardy, and then they add more condensed milk outside. So the whole thing is actually very sweet. Oh, this is very good. Huh? Oh, 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 her secret? Yeah, you must try. Yeah. Okay, let's try her special from uh, the very lovely lady over there. Okay, thank you. you. This is good. No, I, I think they use a different tea, not the typical black tea. They use a different tea, it's a lot more aromatic. Um, and then it's very, very, very rich. Not too sweet. It's from the guy that does all the dancing thing. So this, this. Sean ordered two variations. One is this egg in there. It tastes like a normal egg prata. So for those that actually like fancy uh, egg prata with sugar, right, you'll like this one because they added a condensed milk. Wow, you want to cook? Legs. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, okay. okay, we're getting... Two more items to end the day. Lex cannot take it anymore, but... <laughs> we ate almost... How many stalls? 15? Around there. Around there, right? But never mind, we end off strong, okay? We this one, and then I saw the scallop one. The one that a lot of people feature. That one, then we end it off, okay? Yes. This one... Sweet potato pancakes. Pandan. Thai pandan pancakes, okay? It looks very fluffy. I've seen this... I think you have a store selling this in Golden Mall. Yes, Is that your store? Yes. Okay, oh yeah, it's the one selling at Golden Mall. Oh my god. 
Okay, this one is called Ban Kanom Thai. Ah. Oh. It's pancakes, la, okay? It does look like pancake. Just a typical. This is a pandan one. It looks so soft and fluffy. This is the. Oh my god, why this one looks destroyed? <laughs> this is the sweet potato one. I don't know why Sean decided to order 20, but it's okay. Still got room. Okay, let's try the pandan one. Oh no, 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 no. It tastes like it's not completely cooked through. That's, that's what it is. Uh, it's super soft, kind of flowy inside, liquidy inside. Come, you try also. Which one you want to try? I want one of them. Okay, I think one purple one. Huh? Okay. Okay. The green one is way better. Super potato one. Both is good. Huh? And that one is way better. You wanna try? Uh, okay. While we're eating this, I wanna I wanna get the scallop, but I think they are they ran out of stuff already. While we're doing this, let's do an outro. Okay, we came in at seven. Now it's almost eleven. Uh, we spent about four no more than four hours. Well, spent about four hours in here. Uh, managed to eat. I, I try to cover as many stalls as I can for you guys. Okay, not because I got no room or what. It's because the queue is just insane. Okay, there are stalls that you have to wait like an hour for the for certain stuff. But fortunately for us, uh, Hara is here, and she 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 uh, she's, she's friends with some of the stall owners. Uh, so we managed to get some priority queues here and there. Okay, so fortunately, okay, we can we can get some of the stuff quicker. Okay, but. Overall, okay, but fortunately, you see our, our lights also ran out because then fortunately, Reina got a. She, 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 she came prepared. The food here is not too bad. Initially, we all thought that the food here wasn't. It's not gonna be that good, but honestly, it's not that bad. But it's just that uh, it, it gets a bit chaotic, especially over the weekend. If you come on a weekday, it might be a little bit better. So, this night market is gonna be around from the time this video is up all the way until April. So do check it out if, if this is something that you guys like. Uh, I know a lot of my friends didn't want to come because they see that flood, that is like short circuit, there's a lot of stores that are not open. But today I think everything is functional already. Okay, so that's it. Okay, that's it for this video. Big thank you to Tara for joining me and Reina for joining me in this video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, both of them, I'll put all their links down in the description. So uh, if you guys want to interested in them, go and can go and stalk them. Okay? <laughs> You can go and stalk them on their Instagram or TikTok or whatever. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, I'm hot. I'm dehydrated. See, okay. bye -bye. see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.